Hi guys, I have another video for you today and this time it's Advanced Distributive Property 2. So the purpose today is again to use the distributive property to write equivalent expressions, but this time we're going to be going from expanded form to factored form. So you'll need a paper and a pencil to do the practice exercises at the end of this video. Let's just review that going from factored form to expanded form looks like this. Factored form has a factor on the outside of the parentheses in two terms that are being added together inside the parentheses. So you just distribute this factor that's on the outside to each of the terms that are inside the parentheses. So in this case, 8 times 2y becomes 16y, and 8 times 3 becomes 24, and this is in simplified form. Okay, so what if we have situations like the three here <clears throat> where they are in expanded form and you want to simplify them and um, rewrite them using the distributive property in factored form. So we'll talk about this one first. Um, the first thing you have to do is find the greatest common factor between these two terms. So in this case, four and seven do not share any factors other than one, but this is for a plus 7a, so they actually both share an a. So you can kind of think like a is the greatest common factor between the two. So we're going to think about this as reversing what we did up here. And instead of distributing, now we're going to be kind of pulling out. So we want to pull the a out of each of those terms, and that's going to be what ends up in front of the parentheses. So you would have an a, and then whatever's left over after you've taken the a's out, which is four plus seven. And really what you're, divide, what you're doing here is dividing by a. Four a divided by a, the a's cancel out, and you just are left with four. That's where this four comes from. Seven a divided by a, the a's cancel out, and the seven is what you're left with, and that's where that seven comes from here. Okay, sometimes it's not a letter that is your greatest common factor, and so that might be in a case like this. We have 10b plus 12. Well, 10 and 12 both share the factor of 2. So we're going to use 2 as our greatest common factor. If you think about what we did over here, imagining that we were dividing both of the terms by a, on this problem, we'll be dividing both of the terms by 2, that greatest common factor that we identified. So uh, 2 is going to be what's outside of our parentheses. 10 divide, 10b divided by 2 is 5b, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we have 2 times 5b plus 6. And remember, you can always double check this by just working backwards. What is 2 times 5b? 10b. What is 2 times 6? 12. Does that match what I had up here? Yes, it does. I'm good to go. Okay, uh, now down here I wanted to talk about what happens if you don't identify the greatest common factor and you just pick some other common factor. Um, so if we look at 14c and 28c, um, we can see that they both have a C in them, um, which was actually a mistake. <laughs> Let's call this 28E and 14C. Okay, sorry about that. So um, we're going to think about, hmm, what could the greatest common factor be? Well, the greatest common factor here is 7, but we're going to pretend just for a second that you made a mistake or didn't realize that, and you're going to use 2 as your greatest common factor. Okay, so if you divide 14c by 2, remember the greatest common factor is what goes outside the parentheses. 14c divided by 2 is going to give you 7c. And 28e divided by 2 is going to give you 14e. So hopefully you will look at what's left inside these parentheses and say, wait a second, 7 and 14 um, have another factor in common. So that's an indicator that you didn't actually find the greatest common factor up here. So you could sort of simplify again. 
and say that 7c and 14 share a common factor of 7. So I'm going to take the 7 out of both of these. And now I have 2 times the 7 that I'm taking out here um, from both of those. So my outside number would be 14. 7c divided by 7 is just c. And 14e divided by 7 is 2e. So really, in simplest terms, 14 times c plus 2e would be as simple as, as it goes. Um, and we can look at what that would have been like over here. If I had identified the greatest common factor as 7 right to begin with, oops, sorry, as 14 right to begin with. So I could have said, oh, 14 is my greatest common factor. I'm going to put that outside the parentheses. 14c divided by 14 is just 1c. 28e divided by 14 would be 2e. And so I do end up with the same um, expression in either case. Just took me an extra step to get it over here because I didn't have the greatest common factor right away. So I want you to try these four practice problems on your own. All right, here are the answers. In this first one, you'll see I put, just in case you did not find the greatest common factor right away, and it took you an extra step, but this is the simplest form. That says 21 times 2x plus 3. Here's the second problem. And the third, again, just in case you didn't find the simplest form right away. And finally, the last one here. 